Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanya family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome and let's enjoy some great music together. All right. So what do we have for our Goonies today? Well, today's Friday and it happens to be the last Friday before Christmas. So we're going to do our Friday favorites a little different this time. A little. Yeah. We're going to pick one of our favorite Christmas songs each to show you guys. Yeah. And I say one of because, of course, I have several that I would consider favorites. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to hear Mariah Carey. Don't worry. Nope, no Mariah Carey because, well, they that gets played to death. Yeah. <laughs> not that it's not a favorite. I mean, it's, I love it's, it. It's a fun song. It's got a great sound. And Mariah has an amazing voice no matter yes. what she sings. Yes. So. But, I mean, yeah. it gets played to death. Yeah. I, I, I try <laughs> to avoid it as much as possible around Christmas time. I, I will eventually just, hear it front to back. It's just played far too many times around here, at least. I don't know about anywhere else, but for sure around here, it gets played a whole lot. But hey, you got to go to the mall at Christmas. Yeah, (laughs) that's where you're going to hear it every time. But anyways, the song I chose to do today (laughs) is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas by Gayla Peavy. Oh boy. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I used to do this one at karaoke all the time around Christmas, and I drove the bar owner's son just crazy. He hated it. <laughs> He's like, you can sing, but that song. <laughs> but that's okay. He hates this song. But personally, I think it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Yeah. For sure. I I, I didn't know it when I was growing up, and uh, I only learned of it when I hooked up with her. So... Excuse me a moment. Come here. here. So we're going to get into this one because (laughs) I can't wait to have fun with this song. Yes, we we found the cat. Yeah, I had to go get him. (laughs) So yeah, this is fun. Uh, Again, from 1953, she was what, nine, ten years old? I think she was nine years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a, an original song written, uh, apparently they were trying to move a hippopotamus into her hometown. This is so funny. And this was the way they pushed it forward. Yeah. So that it ended up happening that they have a hippopotamus in her hometown. I don't know what town that is right now. <laughs> but uh, the zoo there was trying to get a hippopotamus and they had her sing a song about it. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to get into it. This is Gala Peavy with I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> This is so funny. Yeah. I love watching this video for some reason. It's great fun. It's like she's this little girl with such a big voice for her age. Yeah, that's true. She had really good training, I could tell. Kind of interesting how her voice sounded almost way more grown up than it should have. Yeah, it's very commanding. Yeah. It's very very interesting that way. Um, 
and the little dance that she does, the little marching around, mm -hmm. pretending to be a hippo. That's so funny. That's great, for sure. Yeah. It's some great music, right? They got you know all the uh, classic instruments. Yeah. I, I heard an oboe with some lead parts in it. It's, it's really quite beautiful the way the music's done, actually. Yeah. It is. For sure. It's and really interesting. I like watching the little ones in the background. One of them is just bopping around like I do. Mm -hmm. And then the other one looks like she wants to get up and sing, but she's too shy anyway. Mm. That's what it looks like. You know what I mean? One yeah. of those kids who's like this and kind of lip syncing what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, her job is to just be the little girl that's friends with Kayla. Yes. So, you know. Yeah. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of room for him in our two-car garage. I'd feed him there and wash him there and give him his massage. I can see him in now on Christmas morning, creeping down the stairs. Oh, what joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes to see a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only Bottomless will do. No crocodiles or rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses, and hippopotamuses like me too. Always fun. Yeah. <laughs> I loved singing that at karaoke, though, and driving Rick crazy. That's great. Oh song. my gosh. It's great fun. I'm telling yes, you. it was a lot of fun, and people always got into it. Oh, Every sure. time I sang it, they were just having so much fun, except for Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, he was like, "Oh, that song again!" <laughs> it's very popular around this time of year. It really is, but I mean, I really love this one. What ever since I heard it as a kid, even I loved it. Yeah. So. Well, again, I never heard it as a kid, mm -hmm. and on my first hearing of it uh, as an adults 15 years ago <laughs> um yeah i i thought it was the most interesting thing i'd ever heard yeah first time i heard it she was singing it <laughs> that's funny i didn't realize that yeah. i thought you knew the song at least once before no. i sang it no no no, no. karaoke oh, that's funny at karaoke you sang it and i was like what is this <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious mm. Oh my goodness. So yeah, um, this very interesting song. I always found it very fun. And to me, it's kind of new. So, you know, it was, yeah. it was just better that way because I didn't hear the heck out of it. I like how silly the lyrics are. It's great for kids. They just love that stuff too. Yeah. Like mom says the hippo would eat me up, and, but then teacher says the hippo is a vegetarian. Yeah. So it's like... You're wrong, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just a funny song that you would expect only a kid would sing, like, sing those lyrics, you know? Still, I wouldn't let a kid near a real hippopotamus. No, not for real. No. That'd be crazy. That'd be nuts. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Unless they're at a zoo and they're not, like, in where the hippo is. No. Then that's okay. <laughs> yeah, she can't have it as a pet, though. No. No. No, bad idea. No massaging the hippo. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's always a lot of fun for us to listen to this one. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. <laughs>